Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my Premier League predictions for week 8. Um, all 10 fixtures again, I don't actually seem to enjoy it. So, you know, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna do all 10 again. Uh, and I'll start off with my team. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So as I've just said, I'm going to start with my local team, uh, Brighton versus West Ham. Brighton looking for a hat-trick of wins, uh, losing 2-0 to Man City, whereas West Ham overturned United and pretty easy to do so. Um, but Brighton are looking for a hat-trick of wins if Brighton win this game. Beat them twice last season. Um, now, I know, a lot, I know a lot of you are going to say that if I, if I go bright and win it's because I support them. Uh, I, I don't do it for that. I do it from an actual fan's point of view. But yes, I am going to back my own team to win this one. And I'm going to go with a 1-0 scoreline for Brighton. Um, you know, it's a very, very, very tough West Ham. They seem to find their form now. We were above this one earlier in the season, the first fixture, but obviously we're playing them now. As I said, I'm going to predict Brighton to win 1 0. Yeah, because I think they got a lot of that thing to cover as well. Um, so. The next game is Palace vs Wolves at Selhurst Park. Um, now with Wolves on form, Palace less to do so, but Wolves have taken this lead by storm. Um, you know, I think it's going to be. I think Wolves are going to win this one. I'm not just, as I said, I do it from a natural fan's point of view. I'm going to go with the 2 0 ball school line. Uh, Le the next one is Leicester versus Everton. Uh, you know, Everton are doing okay. Uh, Leicester are doing, you know, roughly around the same. But I think Leicester are going to win this one. And I'm going to go with a 2 1 score line for Leicester. Leicester are strong at home, uh, you know, anyone that goes to play is there, they're up against it, especially with Leicester come out from the start, so that's what I've gone with that scoreline. The next game is Watford versus Bournemouth, now Watford are very in from the dark, I've always called them the dark horses of this season against a very good Bournemouth side. Uh, Bournemouth have done well to stand the state as long as they have. But I'm going to predict a Watford win and I'm going to go with a 3-0 scoreline. Watford just looks strong at home. Um, you know, it's going to, you know, no matter, no matter who goes to Watford this season, they are going to have a tough game in their hands. I experienced that the first game of the season. Mind you, and mind, Brighton did turn up. The next game, and it is one of the big games of the weekend, is Man United versus Newcastle. Now, Newcastle are down the bottom. Um, Man United just lost to West Ham. Both teams low in confidence, very low, after what happened with West Ham and United. Newcastle was going on the board and everything like that. Um, so, you know, I don't, yeah, this one's a bit difficult. Um, you know, so I'm going to, I'm going to predict this one a draw. I'm going to go with a very boring sort of game. But I reckon it's going to be two goals for both teams. I'll go with a one on the scoreline. Uh, the next game, Fulham versus Arsenal. Now, you know, Fulham, yet again, are taking this league by storm. Uh, they're doing very well from a newly promoted team point of view. Um, 
as well as Arsenal, getting used to their new manager, um, getting used to playing style and also coming into their own. Um, so with, with this one, I'm going to go with an Arsenal win. Um, I think we're all probably expecting it. Um, you know, I, I will go against the odds, but I don't really feel it could overturn Arsenal. Um, and I'm going to go with a 2 0 scoreline to Arsenal. Now, the next one is Southampton versus Chelsea at St Mary's. Now, Chelsea, very good form, gone to Liverpool this weekend, just gone. Southampton, Leicester do, so Southampton are really struggling at the minute. So, with this one, I'm going to go with the odds again. Um, and I'm going to go with a Chelsea win, and I'm going to go with a 3-0 Chelsea scoreline. Um, now the next one is a game of the weekend, and it's the last one in my list for this week. Um, it's Liverpool versus Manchester City. Now Liverpool, as I just said, drawn with Chelsea, and Man City beating Brighton. Um, now, at Anfield, I really do think it's going to be a draw. I'm going to go with a 2-2 two, two scoreline. I'm expecting the Liverpool to open up and I'm expecting the City to open up. So, especially if I play that down in the football that I did against Brighton, that's what I expect the scoreline to be. But anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Yeah, yeah.